All right. So now we are heading to level 1.2. Now, level 1.2, it's really merely a, an extension. I mean, uh, at least for question 1 through 8 in 1.2 is just an extension of what we did in level 1.1, 1 .1, except that, uh, well, we have a number sitting in the front. Okay, that's okay. That's there. It's multiplying. So we're going to take care of it in a moment. Okay. So, uh, so what we do, it's going to uh, simplify this square root of uh, 32 while, while the two is still sitting on the outside. So we say, hey, what is square root of 32? All right, there are a few ways you can think about this. And some of you might be thinking about four times eight or eight times four. That's a good try. But, uh, but that is not the best combination. Okay, now the reason why, uh, I'm gonna write this down, four times eight, and I will tell you why this is not a good combination because, I mean, four is a perfect square, okay? That's good. But can you see within the number eight? That's also a four inside, right? Now, if you do four times eight, that means you are going to um, either uh, not simplify it uh, completely or, you have to do one extra step in order to simplify this completely. So, so when we do this kind of simplification, and by the way, by the way, uh, all the numbers you see underneath the square root, I would strongly recommend you to, you know, uh, like when you are practicing, when you're doing it, try not to play with your phone, just focus because your memory is gonna register these numbers and you built your like, stronger instinct when you see these numbers. Okay, so you don't panic, you don't struggle, you don't hesitate. So for 32, you want to think of the biggest perfect square possible. So think about four, four is good, but can we do something bigger? Nine, no, not nine. 32 is not a multiple of nine. Think about 16. Oh, 16 times two is 32, right? Okay, uh, so that's how we will say, yeah. Okay, so uh, square root of 16 times square root of 2, and that is equal to 4 right here, okay? And uh, and four, 2 times 4 is 8. So, uh, so at the end, we have 8 square root of 2. Now, again, uh, I am uh, showing you all the uh, little parts, uh, all the little parts uh, in the process. Uh, I would expect that once you look at the problem, you will go uh, at least uh, to this point and then you get to this point. If you are really, really good, okay? If you're truly proficient, that's the bar you wanna set for yourself, okay? So that's number one. Now, number two, number two is kind of easy. Number two is kind of easy, okay? Uh, it's kind of easy because, hey, you know what square root of 16 is, 64 is? Square root of 64, it's eight, right? All right, don't panic, it's just eight. Uh, so eight times four is 32, done, okay? All right, so uh, that's very nice. Uh, what about number three? Number three, okay? Uh, for number three, we will say, hey, what is uh, square root of 27? Now I'm gonna go a little bit faster here. I'm thinking about this as nine times three underneath the square root, so that gives us, Three root three, okay? Now, if you cannot see how that becomes uh, three root three, how root 27 becomes uh, three square root three, now you can do it on the side, but uh, it's, okay, it's something you wanna push yourself a little bit, all right? You can say, oh yeah, that's how you get three root three, okay? So with three root three, the two and the three, they multiply, so, You've got six root three as the final answer, okay? And then for number four, number four is, uh, number four, it's uh, hmm, 50, right? 50. Now, whenever you see a number ending with zero or five, I mean, that gives you a really strong hint that, the, that it's gotta be something related to 25, okay, or 10. Uh, this is 25 times two, by the way. So uh, we have, Square root of 50 as 5 root 2. So that becomes 15 root 2. Okay. 
So these four, they are they are pretty easy. Okay. Now, what happens if you have a like, little negative number in the front? Okay, like number six. Okay, what about number six? Well, same thing. Okay, so we say, hey, what's uh, what is square root of twenty? Well, think about twenty as uh, four times five, right? So uh, four times five that gives you two root five, right? So uh, square root of twenty is the same thing as two times square root of five. So this times this, you get negative four root five. Okay, so I'm going to let you try number seven and number eight. Okay, and also number five yourself. Okay, and see if you can get the right answer. Again, check the answer key uh, to see if you're right. Uh, the next video will focus on the next group of questions in this level, which is uh, from nine through 16. Now, they are a little bit um, more challenging, okay, but not too challenging, but, uh, but we will break it down, okay, more in the next video. Okay.